From tournament director to chair umpire at the U.S. Open, co-founder of the world's largest citywide junior tennis league, four-term president of the Georgia Tennis Association, or the first women's coach at Georgia Tech, few in the Hall of Fame have more qualifications than Julie Rank. I think that she's amazing as a person and what she's done for me and done for our sport and done for Georgia Tech. I uh, just can't say thank you enough. So to be recognized in this way, she, in no, she for sure is a Hall of Famer. She's a Hall of Famer and always will be. You do read these articles and see these things about you know, her career. I mean, you, she's a legend. You know, she's been around all aspects and she's given her life to it. And uh, it's amazing when I look back at it, how much her life in tennis has defined my path and my life. Julie Rake, a native of Charleston, West Virginia, found tennis at an early age after an injury slowed her down from another passion. We in the sport of tennis are just really lucky because, because of, a, of an ankle injury. Uh, Julie was a, was a figure skater and uh, she hurt her ankle and somehow managed to take up tennis. Julie quickly dominated on the court, becoming a nationally ranked junior player she would go on to lead her high school team in Sarasota, Florida to three state championships. She would also find success in the classroom. In fact, she was her school's valedictorian. Her academics would push her to Atlanta, and in 1961, she enrolled at Georgia Tech. Uh, she was ranked in uh, the, top, uh, the top 15 in the USTA uh, in Maryland. And uh, I know she won the West Virginia Open singles. But Julie was a highly ranked uh, junior player and uh, was uh, uh, brought to Georgia Tech by uh, then Jack Rogers. Reg's freshman year housing plan at Georgia Tech fell through. But one day, while at the Bitsy Grant Tennis Center, she would meet one of Tech's biggest tennis boosters, who may have held another title as well. She was there at Bitsy Grant playing tennis, and Bobby Dodd, who had heard her story, about her not having a place to live, comes up to her and invites her basically to stay at their house, his and his wife's house. One of the legends of Georgia Tech athletics. And here she is coming in as a freshman female at Georgia Tech and gets the opportunity to live with the legend Bobby Dodd for six weeks. Phenomenal. When she arrived at Georgia Tech, uh, there was no women's dorm. She uh, was sort of out in the cold and it hadn't been for uh, the generosity and kindness of Coach Bobby Dodd. She might not have been at Georgia Tech, but uh, she is, uh, as you know, uh, a member of the Georgia Tech Athletic Hall of Fame, and, and they are fortunate, and, and certainly so are we. While at Tech, Reg played on the Yellow Jacket men's team because there was no women's at the time. A few years later, in 1964, she'd partner with Ann Dillon to win the women's doubles title at the Atlanta City Open. The following year, Reg became the first woman to graduate with a physics degree from Georgia Tech and was recognized as the school's most outstanding female graduate. One of the things that people don't know about her, I don't think, is that, uh, that she worked in, on some metallurgy for bolts that were used in the uh, second stage of the Atlas booster rocket that sent people to the moon. And uh, so she's really a rocket scientist. Reg began to teach tennis locally in the 1970s and volunteered in both Alta and the USTA. She took a special interest in junior players and tournaments, and in 1973, she co-founded the Alta Junior League, which now has over 7,000 players. Well, Alta obviously was a great pioneer of adult league tennis uh, a few years earlier, but Julian Fox founded the, the uh, Alta Junior League, and that kind of set forth uh, an explosion of junior tennis in Atlanta. In 1976, Reg brought the USTA Girls 12 and Under Nationals to the Bitsy Grant Tennis Center, marking the first time that a girls national championship had been played on Georgia soil. Two years later, the USTA Girls 14 and Under Nationals would come to the North Fulton Tennis Center. She was then named tournament director, a position she would hold for the next 26 years. And for her to bring the first nationals to Atlanta brought great recognition to Atlanta and also really uh, invigorated a, a volunteer base that has been serving tennis in Atlanta through today. Julie Regg served the USTA as an umpire and referee for over 25 years. 
She was a line and chair umpire at the U.S. Opens in both 1978 and 1979, officiating matches with several high-profile players. Julie was one of the great female chair umpires, and uh, she worked the U.S. Open on several occasions. She's uh, been a tournament director, been an official for many, many years, uh, served on the USTA Officials Committee, uh, been involved in, uh, in every aspect of the, of the game of tennis at the professional level. Reg went on to serve four two-year terms as president of the Georgia Tennis Association. Julie was a consummate volunteer, and uh, she served not once, not twice, not three times, but four times as the two-year president of USDA Georgia, and uh, no one's done that. In 1979, Julie Regg started the Georgia Tech women's team and served as its first head coach until 1986, and then again in 1992. She started the tennis team at Georgia Tech. She was the very first coach there, and uh, um, you know, laid some, some nice foundations there and, and, and really kind of helped uh, integrate tennis in with the, the larger sports community there. The program initially competed at the Division III level and finished in the top 10 nationally in only its second season. Reg once had 12 high school valedictorians on her roster and her teams compiled 86 victories despite offering no scholarships for the first several years. I remember her talking about tennis and tennis matches in general as, as being like tests that you go take uh, in school. And you go out on the court to play against an opponent and you've got about an hour and a half to solve solve the problems that, that arise. And I think that's how her mind works. She's a problem solver. She's not someone that just focuses in on just the problem, but someone who looks towards the solution. So for her to get those great students, the ones that could think on their feet, put the thought with the action, those are ideal student athletes for, for coach. Throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, Reg was on the USTA Tennis Rules Committee and served as chair of the USTA Girls 12 and Under Rankings Committee. With her husband, Doug, she developed tournament software that exploited new technology, the internet, and revolutionized the way tournaments were run. In the old days, of course, you know, the only place you, you, you know, sports scores you couldn't get from anywhere. But uh, with the, the, there was a, a tournament management software and then a website where you could see stuff. So people would play tournaments over a weekend and then they'd see their results on the web. And of course, then you have all the data available for rankings. And so it kind of revolutionized the way uh, tennis was done. She also wrote the tournament manual, the Bible for running a successful tennis tournament. She was the first person to write a tournament director's manual. She put together and struck things to do and, and good practices. And it was adopted virtually word, by, word for word by the USTA. Julie Regg's most recent venture, TennisRecruiting.net, is now the best site for information and stories on junior tennis and recruiting. It features rankings of all U.S. junior and college prospects and is a perfect tool for college coaches and recruits alike. We use that rating system more than we use the USTA rankings. That's how important her system has become and how much it is viewed and how much it is, it is used throughout, throughout our country. Julie Regg's unique six-decade tennis journey has helped careers and touched lives. Yeah, she, she goes through life without a lot of fanfare. I mean, she, she's always given a lot. I mean, just from giving lessons uh, to neighborhood kids, to, to coaching. I mean, it's always been about the sport. It's always been about, uh, that, that, those are the kind of things that she's always taken a lot of pride in and not a lot of personal fanfare. So I, I think it's well-deserved and I'm, I couldn't be more proud of her. Congratulations to Julie Regg, a 2018 inductee into the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.